it would completely shit on his support and his memory. Wow. Right? Yeah. Of who I had become before he died. Yeah. How disrespectful of you to do that. Right. How disrespectful of you it would be to go pick up because your fucking mom died. Yeah, correct. Like, what a shitty son. Yeah. That would be. Yeah. I right. Don't want, I don't want to have to live with that. Right. Exactly. No. Um, but it was that such a moment. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, th- I don't know. Like, that's some real, that's some real shit that people really should think about because yeah. at the end of the day, the reason that we do those things, not only because we're predisposed and we're blah, blah, sure. blah, but it's so that we don't have to deal with with us and it's not it's not only that but the other it's i think it's a bag full of wise were you at door door con i think 2018 the very first door door con when james lawrence iron cowboy spoke that was the second one whatever yes i was at that right, one that i was at two yeah they're right yep. it wasn't it was the second one yep. so he talked about having a bag full of wise yeah when he fell broke his collarbone yep. on the third race then basically broke his ankle like 17 and then like so he his, talked about a bag full of wise yeah because sam brought up a bag full of maybes at our retreat that's where he stole that from you fucker okay now i know you got it. and i literally made signs in my office for my sales guys i'm like don't fucking walk around with a bag full of maybes yeah. assholes like go yeah. close it but anyway go ahead yeah so so one of the one of the big parts of why i stay sober is mm-hmm. no longer and this is going to sound unique so mm-hmm. this is not exactly but there's many reasons why in the directional in the direction of why i stay sober this is one of those <laughs> you know one of those parts of the vehicle of why i stay sober it's not the only one mm-hmm. but it is a major one for mm-hmm. me i don't know cuz cuz i stopped being sober for me i started being sober for the parents that lost their kids or again i serve in my church so mm-hmm. i got uh, middle school high school stu- high school students boys that i that i coach and mentor and it, like there's so many parents that i've sat down with to try to give them hope mm-hmm. for a future of their kids potential sobriety mm-hmm. and to figure out how to deal with this and work through this right and like you said with the emotions of this so i, I don't i when, when i stopped but if all those people are gone and you're sitting in a room with just mikey then how do you stay sober just because i fucking want to there you go yeah and right. again that's not only because yeah, yeah, again, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. but it but for instance, when 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 I say this all the time, when my mom and my sister were no longer the reason why I wanted to make it in door to door sales, mm-hmm. I needed something else. Yep, and it was going and you know giving back and get, giving back to the refugee centers that I saw these men and women and these families had nothing. I was like, I have to go and make a yeah. difference here. Like there's, there's got to be somebody that financially comes in and writes a check and does this and. I don't want to wait around and yeah. wait for somebody to do that. It, I'm going to try. I'm at least going to swing the bat. Yeah. I just, you know, don't forget. I'm going to, I'm going to swing for the fences. Don't yeah. forget the bat kind of concept. Right. So it's one of the reasons why, which the same concept of, you know, why you should keep moving forward with anything in, in, yeah. in your career or, or being successful is, you know, not just for your daughter, not just for your wife, not just for, you know, honoring your family, but also doing it for people that are around you yeah. and knowing that you're being like, we're in, we're in the digital age where everything is recorded. Everything, you know, we're <laughs> being followed. Ooh, you know what? I like what you said, not for them, but to honor them. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I think that's a I think that's a really good way to think about it for somebody listening cuz you're not doing you're doing it for you. Yeah, of course. But you're doing it to honor them. Get the fuck out of you can't be authentic. Uh. This here interview's finished. Get the fuck out of you can't be authentic. Uh. Get the fuck out of you can't be authentic. Get the fuck out of you can't be authentic. Uh. Yeah. Swipe. DJ.